We're nearly there, but at um, the same time we're totally lost. <laughs> it's the second time we've been down this track. Uh, we bumped into another English guy, and we both ended up down here. And it's not the right way, but I think we know where we're going now. But, um, so it's... <laughs> Wait till the kids. Bye bye! <laughs> Bumpy track. Well, this is it, we made it, and uh, yeah, just getting unloaded now. We've got the gazebo up anyway, which is great. And this is our swim, the beach, which is a nice, big, lovely swim. Uh, we've got a load of gear, unfortunately, and we can't park the van behind us, so we've got to unload it all and, and get it down there. But that's okay, we've got enough room in the gazebo. Oh, but it's so nice to be here. It's a lovely lake. And there is plenty of nice fish in here as well, so... It's not easy by all accounts, but you know, there's every chance of uh, seeing a decent fish or two, mainly commons in here by all accounts. And there was a guy in here last week, he only had two bites, two fish. Uh, one was 15 kilo, but one was 22 and a half kilo, which is sort of up around 50 pounds. So, you know, that's the target. One of those will do nicely. But um, yeah, for now, just got to get all this lot down to there and then we can begin. The beach swim actually looks a really interesting area of the lake. We were given a map of the swims and uh, yeah out in front there was plenty of features, some uh, fairly deep areas, some high points, you know, some plateaus, drop-offs. Uh, one point that really sort of stood out to me was down to the right where there was an out bounds bay and you know there was a boundary to that that you weren't allowed to fish beyond so that was an obvious resting and sort of hiding place for the fish so yeah I was definitely keen to have a look at that and uh, I was sure there was going to be a few hiding away in there. There were no bait boats or boats allowed on the lake but I did inquire about the bushwhacker and I hadn't been used there before but they were quite happy to let me use it so yeah I figured that would uh, yeah be the best option for me and yeah, the first rod um, I put out was down towards that Out of Bounds Bay, you know, I could put one down towards the boundary and I figured that would give me the best chance of a fish. Well, this is ridiculous. I've literally just got the first rod out and uh, it's gone off already. I was just about to try and get the second rod out with the bushwhacker down there and uh, the first one's gone off and I saw some fish in close to the bank down to the right so I've dropped one down there and literally three minutes we've been fishing with one rod I just said to Joan actually it's, um, it is a bit of 
hard work and a bit of messing about getting it out with the bushwhacker because it's quite a few poles down there but I said you know when it happens it's worth it and that's the thing you know it it gets good results quick There we go, <laughs> we got one, <laughs> that didn't take long. Well, there we go, what a fast start. That's probably the quickest I've ever caught a carp from a new country. Um, I don't know what he weighs, he's a mid-20, I haven't weighed him, but yeah, nice hard fight in common. There we go, we started, first thing back in the car, and uh, we're on our way. Right, let's get back, try and get a rod in the water. <laughs> Well, in again, a little liner, actually on the other rod, not this one, but I've put all three rods down that sort of area because all the fish I've seen show have been down that way at the moment. And uh, it's rattled off again. Feels better this one actually. Just nodding away out, there it is. Well, what a fight that was. God, I thought I'd lost that a couple of times. It got me snagged up around the corner and I had to get me waders on quick and get out there. But, uh, don't know if you can see that in there. It looks a proper nice chunk. It's in the net. We're just waiting for Patrick now to, to come round because he has to uh, be present for all the big fish it's certainly a 20 kilo fish whatever happens so uh, yeah he'll be coming round from somewhere over there soon and uh, we'll get a wade up and filmed and uh, yes maybe celebrate <laughs> well there it is it's number 17, it's still only the first evening, it's unbelievable. But yeah, what an absolute beauty. Oh, so strong. But yeah, 59 pound of Slovakian common. Just gonna lift it quick, I'm not gonna do too much because, well, you know why. There we go. How about that? <laughs> Oh, fantastic. All my hopes and dreams for Slovakia in the first evening. Oh, there we go. Mwah. That'll do. 59 pound. Lovely. Ah. Whoa. Man, absolute perfect. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Had a bit more action that evening. I caught my first mirror from the lake and had another common that was mid-20s, something like that. But after that, I left the rods in. I was still tired from the long journey down and I'd caught that 59 pounder. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd just get a good kip and uh, start afresh in the morning. slept really well that night and woke up in the morning to a lovely Slovakian sunrise. Wasn't in any rush, had a cup of tea first and then thought yeah better get some baits out there so started chipping them out. First of all down to the boundary near the Outbounds Bay. 
yeah I've seen a, a little bit of activity down there so you know I was hoping that it wouldn't be too long before I got a bit of action but I wasn't quite expecting it to come so soon Yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah, it's the nice thing about barbless hooks, they're ever so easy to get off in the net. Oh, <laughs> better not let him get away too quickly. There we are, nice way to start the day, isn't it? 35 pound, lovely golden colour this one. Cool. Haven't been out there long. Let's not get it back out there, eh? Mm. I brought a set of rods for Joan as well, but I uh, simply hadn't had a chance to get them out. The action had been that hectic. So yeah, we just decided to share the three rods that had got out, and uh, so the next one that went off, it was Joan's turn. Everyone was so friendly and helpful and we was with a, a really nice bunch of people on the lake and although we had decided to sort of do our own food if you like cook for ourselves we was invited round on a couple of evenings and yeah the food was out of this world Andrew the cook um, really pulled out all the stops and yeah it was very kind of Patrick to invite us round and yeah, the food was something else it really was. God, that is so nice. And, and that one as well, do that. <laughs> Look at that. I've not been at the Ritz, this is. Car. Yeah. They are so kind to people here. Just when we thought we couldn't get any better, that arrives. <laughs> Beautiful, eh? You're not wrong. Yum, yum, yum. Cool. <laughs> and here we go again. I take a good car there. Okay. Good. Oh, you can start today. Okay.
yeah, I guess it's easy to get a bit blase when you're getting a bit of action. Literally, well, we didn't fish last night, and uh, again, we just got the rods out this morning, and literally just got the first one out, put the second one out, and it's gone off, and I thought, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those typical mid-twenties. And, uh, but we're getting it out for a picture anyway, and it's like 38 pound. <laughs> you know, it's nearly 40 pound of smashing common. So, uh, yeah, a bit bigger than what I thought, but yeah, cracking fish. And another nice start to the day. Oh, right, it's all happening a bit quick, but um, I'm going to get him back, get the rod back out anyway, because. Even while we're doing this, there's fish jumping down there, so more to come. <laughs> but it's great. Isn't it? I'm putting out a bit of a mixture of baits each time sort of particles, pellets, and boilies, and you know, all going out in the the big bushwhacker spoon, the Pro XL, you know, you can, you can fit a decent amount of bait in it and uh, they're actually coming more and more all the time so, you know, that little patch of bait that's dropping every time, it's building up an area and they're definitely starting to get on it more and more. Yeah, that's from, from Patrick, that's what they do on the lake here and yeah, it's a nice bit of gear and he can cook that every day, as long as you let him know, he'll cook that for you every day so and the fish love that boilies these are actually a, a test fish meal that come from max and uh yeah they're loving them they really are <laughs> a bit stinky but the fish love them so that's going to be a winner it's already a winner but um yeah that's going to be a big one yeah a bit of large seed mix i'm using in various sort of I've, I've put some of the small seed mix out uh, but that's the large seed mix. Yeah, and just some pellets. A bit of Scopet squid pellet. And uh, that's just about it really. A little bit of a mixture, a bit of everything. But it's all good stuff, that's the important thing. Good quality food. And yeah, good quality boilies. And they're loving it. They really are. How beautiful is that? That is 20 kilos, 44 pound, the immaculate common carp. It really is an absolute stunner. They all are, but this one is even a little bit more gold and a little bit more perfect than all the others. Maybe a new 20 kilo fish for the lake, possibly, um, but it's absolutely beautiful. God, unbelievable, these fish. They really are absolutely superb. And a bit heavy so I'm going to put him down but fantastic <laughs> well this is a very special fish for Joan because it's a new PB common and uh, we didn't realize it was so big when she was playing it but have a look 55 and a quarter pound of lovely Slovakian Green Lake <laughs> uh, that'll do I think <laughs> You've seen it. I mean, what a fantastic fish! Absolutely gorgeous. I think it's called Goldfinger. Not many catchers, and uh, yeah, that just makes it even more special. But, but there we go, a new PB for Joan. So she's up there smiling. <laughs> okay, thank you, Pat.
Patrick. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> That's how the other half live. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perfect. Nice. <laughs> he wants to go. He's had enough. Bon voyage. <laughs> enough is enough. <laughs> Oh, great, isn't it? Well, it's fair to say it's been going a whole lot better than what we ever hoped or thought it would do. The plan was, I mean, we've actually come with six rods all rigged up, ready to go. Three for me, three for Joan. And uh, to be honest, it's been a struggle to get three out, which is, um, yeah, shows the sort of action we've been getting. And uh, <clears throat> I've only actually been fishing during the day. I've had a couple at night when rods have been left out and uh, you know they've gone off. But on the whole, like last night for instance, I just left the rods in all night because, well, a couple of things really. One, we're catching enough during the day anyway. But uh, you know, if it's a good one, we've got to get Patrick out of bed. You know, everything over 17 kilo he wants to see so um, he lives about 15 minutes away so every every good one we've got to drag him out of bed all the way down here and you know it means waiting for him and on, on the whole it's easier just not to fish because as soon as I'm putting the rods out in the morning every day within sort of 15-20 minutes they're going off so yeah happy days yeah I'm a little bit uh, shell shot by it all really you know I just didn't expect that the, the guy had two fish last week and you know at the start of the week we were talking amongst the guys uh, and I said you know I'll be happy with that two fish if I can have two fish and one good one yeah that'd be absolutely fine and you know of course uh, it's, it's been a lot more hectic than that you know I found one really good spot that's been producing all the time I mean I can see fish just while I've been talking now I've seen three fish jump out to the left there so I could put rods out there and there's every chance you know we get fish out there as well but um, you know <laughs> there is a limit to what we can do and I've just got two rods out at the moment and they're the ones that are going off so you know that's enough I'm more than happy just to keep them two going at the moment. If they dry up at some stage, yeah, I've got other options, you know, other bits of water that have been left alone. Um, and so, yeah, it's a, it's a nice option to have. But at the moment, they seem to be sticking to this corner down here. Um, yeah, and, and they keep picking up the bait, you know, the bait, I've got to mention the bait, because it is a, a new one that I've got on test, you know, a new fish meal uh, that the guys have put together. And, you know, that's one of my jobs, test, testing new baits. And this one's working like an absolute dream, you know, they can't get enough of it. So, yeah, <laughs> it's all, everything's working just right at the moment. And yeah, the bushwhacker's doing its job, you know, it's, it puts the bait out there without spooking any fish. It's a bit of work getting it out there. You know, it's about 54 poles, I think. It's all the poles I've got. You know, I'll put it out there and they keep going off, so happy days. You know, we've done, I was going to say we've done three nights, but I'm not fishing the night, so we've done three days. We've got, uh, today's Wednesday, so we've got today, Thursday and Friday. We've got to leave Saturday, but yeah, whatever we get from now on is just a bonus because we've had lovely fish. First objective, of course, is to catch a Slovakia carp did that in about three minutes <laughs> uh, and then of course the hope was to get a 50 and you know me and Joan have both had 50s now so you know everything really is a bonus from now on but there is loads of good fish out there and they keep feeding so all the time they want the bait I keep giving it to them and uh, it's just more fish jumping out there <laughs> but um, yeah we just keep catching them. It is absolutely lovely here. You know, the the people uh, are so nice. It's unbelievable. You know, they really, really are nice people. They've appreciated us.
coming here, driving all this way to come and fish their lake and come and see them. And uh, you know, and, well, we really appreciate how warmly they've welcomed us because they really have. They've looked after us so well. Patrick, the main man here, the bailiff, he, he's brilliant. He's so clever uh, and camera-wise, he's, he's just really clued up. And so it's a pleasure getting him down to do the big fish because he's he's done us some lovely film uh, and some great photos. So yeah, fair play to, to Patrick. And you know, any time, day or night, he'll be down here to do it. So yeah, yeah it's been been lovely getting to know the guys and uh, yeah, lovely catching some of these Slovakian carp. Yeah, I've got to say, you know. 10 out of 10 because I um, didn't know what to expect coming here you know people have said it's a decent lake and uh, well oh, it's a lot more than that it's fantastic it's absolutely fantastic it really is it's beautiful it's a lovely part of the world uh, and the fish are absolutely amazing so fair play to them all you know they've, they've made a fantastic fishery here and yeah we're absolutely loving it Lovely big bright moon and a big one in the sling. Just wait for Patrick, he'd gone home. Hoping to get some rest, no doubt. But um, nice 48 pound common in there, just waiting for a little while, resting up until Patrick gets here and we can photograph him. Nice end to the day, been a hectic day. I think 12 or 13 fish today. Another day begins, it's 8 o'clock and just got the first rod out, just got the second rod out or just putting the second rod out and the first one's gone and yeah got a nice common in the net there and then literally while this rod was on the ground I could see the line running out so uh, both rods are gone straight away again. This actually feels quite a nice one. I mean, that's a, a decent one, you know, uh, getting used to so many decent fish, but yeah, that's a nice one, a 30 pounder or something, but this this feels nice and it's a slow plodder, this one. Well, there we are. Got up, two rods out, two rods gone. Two lovely commons. First one, second one there. Yeah, it's a bit of a chunk. You know how big, but it's a big one. 20 kilo plus for sure. And that one's a decent one as well. Wow, hectic start again. Well, that one is the smaller half of the brace. That one's 32 pound. Lovely old common, bit of a crinkly tail. But that one down there in the sling is another Slovakian PB. 60 pound, 12 ounce. So we have to wait for Patrick for that one. But uh, Slovakian 60. <laughs> the trip is just getting better and better. Right, need to get this one back. What a morning, it's only just started. Chaos in the swim. Well, it's Big Fish Thursday. So it's, it's amazing how many times it happens. Don't know why, but on a Thursday, you get a big one and that's just what's happened. Um, we've had so many lovely fish this week, we really have. Thank you Patrick for everything. But um, yeah, 
on just one better this morning. The two takes straight away after putting the rods out. One was a 32 pounder, and this one is over 60 pound, 60 pound 12 ounce. And uh, yeah, it's just been an amazing week. And uh, well, this morning it just got that little bit better with this one. So not going to hold it up for long. I'm just going to see how much you put up with, but I'm going to show you and uh, see what happens. <laughs> Maybe try I'll try just once more. Just to see. Come on baby. <laughs> That'll do. We've seen it so it's lovely. It seems silly to say really but we're actually taking our time in between fish putting the rods back out because yeah we were just catching so many I mean we haven't put them all on film here for obvious reasons there was you know just too much going on really but um, yeah, we took a little bit of time in between takes just to appreciate the lake around us and the wildlife. You know, Joan always loves seeing the wildlife, the birds and the animals around and so do I. And yeah, it was just nice to sit back and appreciate what we had and what we was looking at. The lake was beautiful, it really was. And yeah, in, in its spring glory really, everything was coming to life. Everything was starting to grow and uh, yeah, look really vibrant. And uh, yeah, the carp were feeding. I'd actually got down to one rod now. Even two rods was a bit difficult to get out, so I just decided to settle for having one rod out there. And even that didn't give me a lot of peace. <laughs> And I'm, well, just down to the one rod now, you know, just take my time putting it out because it's, when it's out there, it's not out there for long. And, well, I think we've, you know, we've had half a dozen fish today without even really trying one rod, putting it out after we've had a cup of tea and whatever, and then it goes off. But, um, you know, the thing is, fish like this are absolutely stunning. You know, on any other day, on any other lake, any other time, this would be, you know, something really special. Um, but you know, as every fish in here is pretty special, it's just another one of those special commons. But look at it, absolutely scale perfect, isn't it? 38 pound and just gorgeous. There we go. Yeah, the lake's incredible and the action was incredible too. I don't think I've ever had a session where I've got down to one rod before, but we were still getting some amazing fish and lovely big fish in amongst them all. And yeah, it was incredible. Uh, any of the other guys that wanted to come around for a cup of tea or social, they was welcome to join in the fun as well. Nice to have a rest for a change, watch someone else do it. I can catch a fish sometimes. <laughs> it's been hard work here. Yeah. I've had a couple of good ones and Steve's been doing the business. But cheers mate for having me around. That's been the best week's fishing I've had for years. The social everything. Yeah, it's been good, isn't it? Good yeah. fun and yeah, share and share and like. So. Pike the fish, pike the lake. Cheers dudes. <laughs> Thank you.
it had been just an amazing week it had been really incredible but of course all good things have to come to an end and, and this session was coming to an end as well but there was one more good fish another 45 pound common just to share with everyone at the end Thank you for coming. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay.